Hi, it's Paula Canal here from Canal Crafting. I've been trying to think of something unique and fun that I can show you how to make and um, I came up with this little treat box and um, inside there are mini eggs and then a bigger egg sits on top. It could be a cream egg or, or anything, any small egg. So anyway, um, I'll start by cutting the designer series paper and we want um, a piece of paper that's six inches, so half a sheet of um, the DSP, so six inches by eight and a quarter inches. Then we're going to um, score the paper at of the cutting blade, score at two inches, four inches, six inches, and eight inches. Then on the short side, we're going to score at one and a half. and at four and a half. Then if we just fold along the score lines, And at one end, what we're going to do is we're going to cut the small piece off, like so. Then we're going to cut just to the first fold up the crease lines. Then we're going to use our envelope punch board and fold the narrow piece in and then you're going to punch at one and a half on each of the score lines. Also on the final edge. Then along the top here we're going to score firstly right on the edge and then at every inch. So one inch two inches, three inches, four inches, five inches. inches. Then we're going to bring back our trimmer and we're going to line up these punched holes so that we score along the bottom edge of each one. So I'm lining that up like so. Score and then the other edge, 
score. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold it in the middle and then on the line that we've just scored there we fold and on that line just there we fold. And these little pieces here we're just going to snip off So you're left with that. Now with some sticky strip, just stick a piece on there. It's easier to it's easier to line it up if you do it like this. So you just fold that over and then fold this side over to meet it. It meets up perfectly then. Then we need another piece of sticky strip. Just on the inside one of these flaps and we fold in the two sides that one there and then this one over to meet it and there you have your little box that easy and then you decorate it however you like. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. It's just a quick one for you and I look forward to coming back soon with something new. Thanks for watching.